Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. It has been a strange January. We went from literally 40 degree weather all week and then now we've been hit with a bunch of snow. So anyways, child, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Stephen A. Smith drama. So if you guys don't know, he went on this Sherry Shepard show. Sherry Shepard has now taken over Wendy Williams place in the entertainment interview sphere. And so Sherry Shepard got to ask in Stephen A. Smith about Rihanna. She's making her big comeback by appearing at the Super Bowl this year. And Stephen A. Smith was not here for it. He kept screaming, she ain't Beyonce. Where is Beyonce? It was just weird. It's like, do you realize they're two different people and it's okay to like them both? Let me go ahead and play y'all this clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out. The one thing I do know is who's going to be in the Super Bowl. I right. got, I know this. Rihanna. Really? really? Rihanna. Right. Rihanna is going to be. I'm very excited. Are you excited for this halftime show? I don't want to say I'm not excited. She's fantastic. That's, yes. not, where I'm, that's not where I'm going with this. Okay, where are you going? Ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, she's a lot of things. She's spectacular, actually. Yes. And congratulations on new mamahood. Yes. I sense There's butt. one thing she's not. Uh-huh. She ain't Beyonce. I know she's not Beyonce, but you know, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Steven. The only reason I brought up, the only reason, the only reason I brought up Beyonce. Yes. Is because Beyonce recently performed at the Super Bowl. Yes, she did. And and with with and without Bruno Mars and Coldplay. Okay, so Beyonce performed, but she's had her time. I'm now it's Rihanna. Rihanna's coming back. She got that extra um of motherhood. I like Rihanna. I, you know what? I I, I like television. Uh huh. I like a lot of talent out there. There's some spectacular females in television. I just want to say that. Everybody ain't Sherry. Yeah, okay, everybody's not Sherry. That's not throwing shade on them. That's appreciating their greatness, but understanding there's levels, you know? Okay. And, and Rihanna's music is fantastic. She's great. She's a sister. I love her dearly. I listen to her music. I'm going to support her till the cows come home. I'm just telling you, for me, there's Beyonce and there's everybody else. Just like it was Michael her, Jackson you, and it was everybody what? else. You got to give Rihanna a chance because I really think Rihanna's going to surprise you. I think Rihanna's going to surprise you, Steven. And we'll, we'll leave it at that and we'll see. I'm going to text you after she You performs. go ahead and do that. I'm going to text you. got the you. number. I got your you got number. number. I sure will. Got the number. She's going to be good. She can't be bad. She's too great not to be good. I'm just saying Beyonce spoiled. It's okay. Let it go. Open up your mind. That's all I say. <laughs> Look, I want to, I want to, because we could debate Rihanna and Beyonce. All, all right. So you guys just watched that clip of Stephen A. Smith and what he had to say. So, of course, Rihanna Navy and most of the internet were not here for it. They lit his ass up, honey. This is a man who talks shit for a living. He goes in on Cowboys fans all the time. But Rihanna Navy got him so scared that he took to his car to apologize. I've never seen Stephen A. Smith apologize so quickly as he did to Rihanna for this stupid beef that's in his head between Rihanna and Beyonce. Y'all go ahead and check out his apology video. I just got out of a first take. And I saw some headline that's circulating all over the place about my quote that Rihanna ain't Beyonce. See, you know, I'm going to own it. I know what y'all trying to do, but I'm going to own it because I get paid to speak for a living. So I need to be more careful. I want Rihanna to know you're a superstar. You're sensational. You're spectacular. You're no joke. And you are a worthy person to be doing the Super Bowl halftime show. Having said all of that, I was answering a question from Sherry Shepard, who took over the Wendy Williams show and now got her own thing going. And I'm very proud of her. 
And she asked me with a bunch of sisters in the audience what she asked me. Now I'm a Beyonce fan. I think that Beyonce is not only a phenomenal performer, the phenomenal performer. And the only reason any kind of comparison came into play is because Beyonce performed at halftime of the Super Bowl, not just by herself, but one separate Super Bowl performance with Bruno Mars and Coldplay. And I thought those were two of the greatest shows that I've ever seen. So what I'm saying is anybody has to measure up to that. Last year, with Snoop and Dre and Mary J and Eminem, I was like, Bruno Mars, Beyonce, Coldplay, big time. They got to measure up to that. Anybody who does Super Bowl, a Super Bowl halftime show, forever I'm going to say Beyonce, Bruno Mars, Coldplay, and then Beyonce by themselves. Michael Jackson could still be alive, and I would say it's got to measure up to that. Eminem, who's one of my favorites, I would say that about him. Coldplay, when they talked about Coldplay initially for the Super Bowl, I was like, not enough. That can't measure up to Beyonce and Bruno Mars, or Bruno Mars by himself, or Beyonce by herself. I've always said that. I meant it as no disrespect to Rihanna. I know she's phenomenal, and she's my sister. Nothing but love for her. But Beyonce is my sister too. I got love for both of them. I just think that Beyonce is the greatest performer out there today. That's me. That doesn't mean I'm hating on anybody else. Doesn't mean I'm damn sure wishing for Rihanna to fail. I don't believe she's gonna fail. She's gonna be great. I'm just saying that I'm a Beyonce fan, that's all. That's it. Rihanna, go do your thing. I apologize for creating whatever brouhaha comes of this. I gotta be more careful where people twist it and turn it into something it ain't. My bad on that. Now I gotta go. Good luck, sweetie. Looking forward to seeing you perform at halftime during the Super Bowl. You know you gotta turn it out. You know you gotta turn it out. And I believe you will. All the best to you. Bye-bye. All right, so y'all just saw his apology video. And I love how he's still talking about Beyonce's his sister and Beyonce this and that. The interview wasn't about Beyonce, sir. It was simply about Rihanna. You know, all he had to do was say, hey, I'm excited to see her. I'm not excited to see her and left it at that. I don't think he necessarily owes Rihanna anything. Some people are big Rihanna fans, some are Beyonce fans, and some like neither. And that's everybody's prerogative. But I think black folks, especially some black men, need to stop comparing black women. These are two different women. They both put in plenty of work over the years, and they both deserve their flowers. So I think Stephen A. Smith was wrong for that. That'd be like me sitting up here and comparing him to Shannon Sharp or Jason Whitlock. These are all different men. They all talk about sports. They come from different angles. And I like all of them for the most part when it comes to sports. Um, Shannon did make me give him a big side eye when he threw Kyrie under the bus with his fake woke ass. Jason Whitlock, you know, he can be a little bit extra, but I'm enjoying his show. He keeps it real for the most part on his show, so I will catch his show every now and then, um, especially when it's pertaining to certain sports figures. Stephen A. Smith, child, it depends on what day you catch him on. But the point is, these are three black men. Um, who are sports commentators, and they're all in their own lanes, and we don't have to compare them. You can like one and not the other. You can like all three, or you can not like any of them. But I just felt like, you know, when it came to this, nobody was talking about Beyonce, okay? We were talking about Rihanna. So the topic should have stayed on Rihanna. I just get tired of constantly, you know, seeing women being pitted against each other, especially women in the entertainment industry. Rihanna versus Beyonce. Nikki versus Cardi. Nikki versus is Lotto. Nikki Ver <laughs> the list goes on, okay? Um, but yeah, we're always pitting women against each other. Foxy Brown and Little Kim, you know, and I just think it needs to stop. For one, I am excited to see Rihanna at the Super Bowl because she has not performed in a long time. So it's going to be dope to see what she comes up with live. And, you know, if in the future Beyonce decides to tackle the Super Bowl again, I'm also here for that as well. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, um, he should have kept it about Rihanna and not Beyonce. But again, you know, we live in a world where people want attention. They want fame. He was trending. Um, a lot of people who may not even be into sports or know who the hell he is, you know, 
probably for the first time, ran to first take, you know, went to go check out ESPN. So again, all publicity is not necessarily bad publicity in the world that we're living in. Also, let's not forget, two days before this, he was on a hobo tour trying to sell his book. He has a new book out called Straight Shooter. And I remember the other day he was on Good Morning America promoting it. Hey, Stephen A., you know who we're talking about. He's a star of the number one sports morning TV show, First Take on ESPN. And he's just written a terrific new book. It is called Straight Shooter, a memoir of second chances and first takes. Can we give it up here in the studio for Stephen A. Smith? Thank you. Thank you. All right, now. Thank you. Okay, what? And that's technically why he was there on the Sherry Shepard show was to promote it. But again, if we can use black women and their fame, you know, if we can quickly throw them under the bus to go viral, folks do that because they know it's going to cause an uproar. It's going to cause outrage. So I really believe he doesn't really care about Beyonce or Rihanna like that. Again, we live in a world where it's about attention and trending, and he's trying to bring eyes to him because he has something to hawk, okay? That is not lost on me, Stephen A. Smith. I see you, boo. I see you, okay? So with that being said, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. How do you guys feel about the whole drama that went down with Stephen A. Smith basically continuously praising Beyonce, meanwhile throwing Rihanna, you know, under the bus as if she did something to him. So go ahead, feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.